Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tropical 3 Absolute Power in the mission The Great Gain. We're still trying to follow the communist path and happiness is still going up. But it's difficult, getting more difficult to make money now because of all the services that I need to maintain. Not to mention the earthquake we just had. But once this moves out I should be able to at least get the cathedral built. Work is on strike, darn it. Dear listeners of TNT Radio, do you remember the old days when everything was so much easier? People would do what they were told. For free, I might add. And they never complained. Well, things are different now as there are people openly protesting on the streets. Now, Presidente has stated that these strikes are staged by his enemies. Personally, I believe him. But convincing the general population may not be so easy. Hmm. So many open jobs all of a sudden. Oh no, that's straightened out already. Weird. Well... I will have to start working on getting uh, the canneries working. Or a cannery working. President is sorry to bother you, but I think it's high time you find a decision what objective you want to complete. By now you must have embraced either capitalist or communist path. I know you'll make the right decision, you always do. Well, I'll choose the communist way. Farm is still not built. Well, that's gonna hurt me. Unless the communist wants something else. No, it's still. Ooh, bad healthcare. That's a major swing all of a sudden. Well, I want to give them better healthcare, but I cannot. Because that requires a great deal more money and power. Now, as for power. I could build a regular power plant, but considering I have high ground, I could probably better it'd be much easier to use wind turbines because I get the maximum amount of power on this plateau. Of course, this is also where we want to build our coffee plantation, so a bit of a trade-off. So they finally started building this. Good. Good. Yeah. So, is there any housing problem? Not really. Alright then. Let the bananas come. Even these apartments are not fully filled up. Alright, it's definitely time to get the immigration office then. I yeah, might as well put that down here. Because it won't be that long before I reach my goal, but I still want, would like to work toward it a little bit faster. Alright, so 20,000. Do I reach that? Not quite. Yeah, it's definitely time to start making some more profitable ventures, like coffee. 
Coffee, coffee, coffee. The windy season has started, and all Tropicans with right minds are staying in the pub or home drinking, excluding those working, of course. For the others, listen to our station and relax. There is nothing better than the bad weather, as the prominent writer tells us. Let's see. Environmentalists and cathedral built. My fellow Tropicans, I would like to address you in this crucial time of our development. In these dire times, we have managed to pull through, to have an economic growth despite all adversity. I salute you for that fact. Yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The lack of priests, about which I hear so much these days, is one of them. And it will be resolved, as will all others, in time as the global economy stabilizes. Through my years of presidency, I have received your gratitude, my compañeros. Alas, I am nothing but a humble servant, and you are my masters. My employers, now is the time to express my gratitude for the environmentalists protecting the gifts that Mother Nature has bestowed on Tropical. <laughs> the past is gone from our shores, but that is not enough. I will bring the future to Tropical. God is my witness that during my next mandate, we will build a cathedral worthy of our piety in Tropical. <laughs> our blood has won the power. Only by blood will we lose it. Well, that didn't swing too many voters. They liked the speech, but it didn't change much. Well, that was built fast. Very fast. And might as well also build a garage. Right. Yeah, the income seems to be coming in waves in this case. Not necessarily good waves. So especially since it will take a while for this to become profitable. Alright, uh, let's just save up for the uh, cathedral now. The American president, paranoid as he is, believes you are hiding nuclear weapons of mass destruction inside your palace. He's firmly convinced that terrorists like you would try to detonate the nuclear bomb near his quiet Texas ranch. Mr. President is not giving you much of a choice. Either surrender the WMDs or embrace the ways of the hamburger. If you don't agree, drastic measures will follow, starting with embargo on all tropical goods. Um, no, he can. Uh, he can have the bomb. What do I care? Never did find out what happened with that femme fatale. Maybe I seduced her. I don't know. It's being a wild here on Tropico Island. Oh, this garage is overloaded. Who would have thunk it? I'm not seeing any shacks just yet. 
So I still have probably still have enough housing. Another world economic crisis. Darn the world! Darn you, world! Can't you ever keep yourself together? Some of us are trying to make a living here. Uh, there's no need for fraud with this this balance. And let's maybe I could send a trade mission to the USSR. Be nice. Well, it might be nice. Oh, darn, I need an airport for that. Well, never mind then. I don't have enough workers right now, I think. This is Juanito! Tropical news today! With the election results! El Presidente has won with a landslide victory! Surely the people will continue to stand behind our beloved leader in the years ahead! They'd better. Or I'll have to send my soldiers after them. Alright, so when's the next harvest? In one month. Yeah, I might as well put up a Teamsters office over here. Thirty-three new immigrants! Woof. Well, they have got the population cap, now I just need to keep them happy. So, overall happiness. This is a religion still. Come on, start producing. I really hate those negative events of the world economic turndown. It's something I can't affect. And it completely ruins my plans. 30 new immigrants. Alright, let's uh, give Tropico first. I mean, I like having the workers, but I can't really afford to house them, put them anywhere. Yeah. Workers on strike. I, I need so much stuff, but first I really <laughs> want the cathedral built. Uh, are the Russians still paying me? Good news, everybody! There are now more than 250 people living on the island! I kind of missed the times when I knew everyone by name. High pollution, yeah. That uh, was to be expected. Alright, come on. Show me the money. Yeah, I definitely need to start getting a factory up, but I can't afford one. And these farms have yet to make a profit. World economy pick up. A 
mean, the only other way I can make money now is either to print it. Or hope that I really, really get lucky with all the exports that I'm doing. Which is not bloody likely. Uh, yeah, I'm hemorrhaging money now. Mm. Not just yet. Not yet. How much do I need for a cannery? 15,000. Yeah, it doesn't really help that the US doesn't like me, but, well, I chose that way. Tourism wouldn't help me in this case either way. I mean, well, it might help, but I can't build it, so... I don't re I don't really have access to it. Besides, I don't think there's much beauty on this island. Uh, yeah, barely any over here. A little bit on the beaches, low liberty. Yeah. You could turn this properly into something profitable, but. Our regularly scheduled program was cancelled according to the Presidential Anti-Defamation Act. So here is some music! <laughs> Alright, still have 29 unemployed people. Uh, but the next boatload should should bring me out of out of this, so I should be working on where I can build pineapples. I can probably build those along the road here. Yeah, that would be very nice. I will probably also need another fishery. And then I'll really go overboard with the cannery. But right now I just I'd be happy with just positive money. Or something close to positive money. So I can get rid of all these shacks. Come on! Where are all my dock workers? Stuck in traffic, no doubt. That sometimes happens. But I should have I should have four. Where is the other two? Surely I have enough dock workers. Yeah. Uh, now they're all stuck in the garage. Residente, don't I know you from somewhere? Your face looks so familiar. I think we've met a long time ago under more favorable circumstances. I remember you used to smile a lot back then. Let me help you become the great man you deserve to be. You and me together, we will put the fear into those capitalist dogs' hearts. Let me use the Lama Flu virus for a just cause, and you'll earn my respect, and probably a romantic rendezvous. Mm. Yeah, why not? The capitalists hate me anyway, so... What are you doing over here? Come on, get to work. Oh, finally, one of them is doing his job. It's gonna take a while for one guy to offload everything into the boat, but... And at long last we have something approaching positive stability. Uh, positive money
and I will see you all next time.